my name is Nick Conkel. I'm the lead gameplay designer on The Elder Scrolls Online. Here at E3, we're both showing off the latest build of the PC version of the game, as well as you know, talking more about our announcement that we're releasing on console. Now, for the first time in the history of the series, in addition to adventuring alone, you can experience the mythology of this world alongside all of your friends. We are excited to announce that the Elder Scrolls Online will have a beta that will be exclusively available first on PlayStation 4. So the console announcement, honestly, uh, this was an opportunity that sort of evolved naturally. From the very beginning, we knew we wanted to uh, do something with this game that was a little more uh, like a modern RPG, with a clean interface, you know, not throwing numbers on your face, not having you look at your hotbar and activate abilities as they're coming off cooldowns but instead something that's immersive and, and real, and that's really in line with what you do in, in console RPGs and, and modern console RPGs. So uh, it was sort of a, a fortunate turn of events that uh, the technology and, the, and you know, the consoles themselves came out at the time they did uh, to, to allow us to port the game that we already had over quite seamlessly. Uh, so the main reason why we, we couldn't do it on every console is time. We had to you know, make certain decisions in development to, about trying to get the game to as you know, people you want to and as fast as you can. And technology is a factor, but time is probably the biggest one. You know, we, we can only do so much in the time we have. And consoles plus PC plus Mac felt like something we could really we could really nail and, and people would get excited about. We're not talking too much about the control scheme right now, but I will tell you, uh, it's not as different as you think, especially for anyone who's played the PC ports of Skyrim. Uh, there's a certain mapping that happens there. We had a limited hotbar from the beginning. It isn't you have 36 different spells and you know by pressing shift F7 you cast a specific spell. It's it's really you have to make a small selection, six of them, and and determine your character based on what you currently have available to you on your shortcut bar. And that really goes along well with the limited button scheme of a, of a console. So it it's pretty easy as it turns out. We didn't have to change the gameplay or the controls very much. Everyone here is playing in the Daggerfall Covenant, uh, and they're playing kind of the starter area. We get you in about level five, and you can walk into Daggerfall City, which is an area of the world that no one has seen in the Elder Scrolls game since actually the 8-bit days of, of, of Redguard and Daggerfall, you know. Uh, so it's pretty exciting for people to get a chance to see some different parts of the world. And the control scheme should be very familiar to anyone who's played any previous Elder Scrolls game. So, uh, you know, left click will be a light attack, holding it down, you'll charge up a heavy, and then you have uh, you know, a small selection of spells that you can fire by pressing your one through five keys. Uh, and monsters in the world will be doing various sorts of abilities and tactics to, to counter you and that you'll have to deal with. And all of this occurs in real time. The game comes out spring 2014 for PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the Mac. Yeah.